2K Sports in association with the PGA Tour is proud to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Serenity Championship is about to begin. I'm Luke Elvey alongside Rich Beam in the booth and it's a hello to Henny Koyak down on the course following our featured group. Hi Luke, great to be with you guys. Now this group will be one to watch today. Lots of chatter on social media leading up to this pairing. We have a rookie on tour who has set very specific goals for themselves and their first one is to beat their playing partner this week. Love it Henny, this will make for an extra layer of excitement. It always adds a bit more drama to an event when we can follow a competition within a competition. Can't wait to see what happens in our featured group throughout this tournament. And let's see what he can do here today. Where did that come from? That's not his style. What kind of shot are they facing here, Henny? He's looking at nice round number 180 here. Going with the 9-iron, nine nine, I think. Well, now you just got to pray for a good line because that one's heading towards the sand. That wasn't their best approach, Beamer. Now, yeah, coming out of the rough, missing the green was always in the cards. Whew. Wow, that's right out of the Gary Player highlight reel. And he needs this to save par. Not a bad line, this. Well, that's a no fuss par to get the round underway, Rich. That's a rock solid par right there. He's currently tied for 13th. Let's go down to John McCarthy for our on-course report. And John, you've now had some time to walk the course this week before today's show. What are we in for today at the Jacobson Homestead? Well, Luke, yes, I love walking around this rural setting. Not a whole lot of trouble to start off with, but things heat up quite a bit when you hit the seventh hole par four. Has a dog leg left and a few bunkers and trees to deal with off the tee. Back nine opens with a narrow and lengthy par five, but that's really as tricky as it gets. I guess there is a li it gets a little swampy on the 15th, uh, but the water generally won't be a factor for many players out there in the field they saved the most challenging tee shot for the 18th uh, which leads up to an elevated green for the approach that will be a fun hole to watch this week hopefully provide some drama coming down the final stretch let's see what happens guys well that's certainly showcasing all their talents there that's impressive using all of his muscles to get that one home in two Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? Yeah, it's just about three feet away. And that's for birdie. Well hold. Now let's change gears and head over to Bubba Watson. He's one stroke behind his rival in this event. Oh, that's frustrating. And after that effort, this is how the leaderboard looks.
Two great shots are required here because this hole is a long par four. Left nothing in the tank on that one. That was pummeled. Do you like the view from where you're standing, Henny? He's setting up here from about 115 yards. Wow, that one was a fairway splitter. And Bubba's got nothing but respect for an approach shot like that. He really flushed that one. There's part of about six feet coming up. This for back-to-back -back birdies. That's tracking. The putt drops, and that's back-to-back -back birdies. Kind of like it. Two in a row. He's feeling it. And stepping up the standings after that effort. Now we're on the fourth tee here at Jacobson Homestead, and it's a par three, playing 181 off the back tees. Yeah, that's about as far as you're going to see this par three play, Luke. Player's going to go in there with the mid, probably shortish iron. Obviously, with the water on the right, you want nothing to do with that side as the bank severely slopes downwards. Bailing out to left of the bunkers, not so hot either. But with just a short iron in your hand, you think that these players are good enough to fire right at it, don't you? An opportunity for a booty here. This is tracking right into the front of this cup. And now to Bubba Watson. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? Looking great now. How good was that from downtown and gets it to drop? Oh yeah, that's huge. Oh, that celebration, that's a little spicy. I don't know if these two are going to be talking now. Teeing off here at the fifth. Yeah, you hit a beauty, didn't you? Lining up from around 160 yards. Currently tied for the lead. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. This looks to be hit pretty well from where I'm standing. Terrific approach and a chance for a birdie here on the fifth. And just about eight feet left to the hole. What a great opportunity here for a look at a birdie. Looking good so far. And with that, that's their fourth birdie. And with that, he'll move to four under par. Now let's change gears and head over to Bubba Watson. He's feeling good, just birdied the last hole. Look at the line on this one. Get in the hole. Oh, how good is that? buries it for birdie as well and this is why you got to keep your foot on the gas at all times these guys and girls are good our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead oh exciting times on the tee of a par five Rich, one of the big advantages for the experienced players on tour is their history around particular courses. But what advice would you give to the new players who are coming to a course for the first time and how to handle it? I would say tread easily. Go in there and just try to get into a good rhythm on the golf course. Don't try and go out and try and hit too many heroic shots or go after too many flag sticks because if you don't know 
what the consequences are if you don't pull off that shot, well, shame on you. So I think that the veterans obviously have more knowledge about golf courses and they can say, oh, I don't want to miss it there because that's dead. I've seen it happen before. When you go into a new golf course, Luke, you got to go in with it and just try and play a little bit on the defensive side. Don't get too greedy. Don't try and make too many things happen. Go in there, find some fairways, find some greens, hole a few putts here and there, get some confidence going first before you start attacking pins. Currently three strokes up after that hole. We've arrived at a par four hole. Well, there's no doubt this player is standing on the tee sky high after making the eagle at the last. Wow, what a shot. Oh, well played. Time for the second shot here at the seventh. Quality shot, that one. Six feet remaining to the cup. And racking up their fifth birdie of the day. And that will take him to seven under. And now to Bubba Watson. He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. Oh, wouldn't that have been nice? Well, you like the look of those hands. Such soft hands. So after that effort, let's take a look at the leaderboard. Our current leader is up by three shots. Here we are in front of a par three. <laughs> Opting for the hybrid, I think. All right, he's going with a little extra club, gone against the caddy here. Let's see if it was the right shout. Well, that's well played into birdie range here at the eighth. What have they got in front of them here, Henny? Can't be too aggressive here. Take your medicine and move on. This is down the hill. This one's dialed in. And that punt will give them birdie number six on the day. And with that, he'll move to eight under par. Awesome play. Our leader is currently enjoying a four-stroke advantage. Teeing off here at the ninth hole. <laughs> Nicely done. And what are we looking at here, Henny? And from around 135 yards. This one's going right at the pin here. Well, they've certainly got the swing and a groove. It has been fantastic to watch all week long. This player is dialed in. Always nice when you can just go ahead and tap one in for birdie. Now let's change gears and head over to Bubba Watson. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? Get in. That's a good putt to make. We'll take that. And that will take him to two under. Here we go, Rich. The back nine on Sunday. What are your thoughts so far? Well, after nine, so far, so good. It's great to see these two players stepping up, getting the best out of the games. It'll be interesting to see exactly who's going to be ahead at the end of the tournament.
Yep, that'll work. That's fine. One win so far this season. Looking for number two here today. You liked that, didn't you? And now to Bubba Watson. He's happy, just came off a birdie. Henny, what does that lie look like? They'll have to get their best bunker technique out here because this is nasty. Oh, what a touch of class, holes it from the sand. Okay, let's get back to it, shall we? A big opportunity with the eagle putt. The putt is underway. Oh, that's a ripper. Now seven strokes up after that hole. Pegging it up on the 11th hole here. That was wonderfully done. Here we have the second shot into the 11th. Oh, that one just missed the hole. Five feet coming up to the cup. Short game has been especially sharp today, Luke. Very impressive. It's on a good line. Oh, you're going to be hard to catch now if you keep making putts like that. Sitting at 12 under par for the event. Teeing off here on the 12th hole. Going with the seven. The perfect wind swing, nice and easy. A chance now from the bunker for an up and down. Oh, almost went in. Let's catch up with the current proceedings. Oh, these are good for the momentum, these ones right on eight feet. He's staring down a birdie putt here. A nice line. That's a lovely putt to make for Birdie. Takes some pride in that one. Two in a row there, Luke. Getting their groove on. Well, this player's mighty fine. Their lead is now nine after that performance. Always positive coming off a of Birdie. Let's see what happens here. That looks to be a fairway finder to me. Henny, what's the player facing here? Setting up this one, hitting into a downhill green. They might be taking a bit less club here. Well, this one's going right at the flag. Wow, what a shot. And as good as they putt, you almost have to guarantee this one. Putting for birdie here. Hey, that's a chance. Now let's change gears and head over to Bubba Watson. He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. Getting ready to play their third. Yeah, good effort, that one, out of the bunker. 
And now we can take a look at how that play affects the leaderboard. Our current leader is enjoying a 10 shot lead. Well, the leader put their foot down early today and has moved to a whopping double digits lead. And it's only the first round. And we find ourselves on the tier, one of the stronger par fours on the back nine here at Jacobson Homestead. The 14th playing 483, Rich, from the tips. Yeah, generous landing area, thankfully out to the right-hand side. Obviously a bunker down the left, and if you miss it even further left, there's water lurking. But the second shot, this is where it gets slippery. This is where it gets dangerous, especially to a back right hole location. All of a sudden, the water down the right-hand side comes into full view, bailing out to the left in the bunker. Not so hot either. I'll tell you what, it takes a brave player to fire at this flag stick. Now that looked pretty good the whole way. And this putt to move to 15 under par. Oh, that was such a good stroke. Yes, they've made it. This player must be in heaven. Their lead is now 11. Now on the tee after a birdie, fired up and ready for more. Now oh, this one looks to be heading down the runway. Second shot here on the 15th. Looks to have chosen the seven iron. Oh, well done. What's in front of them, Henny, with this part? Straight back up this hill can be firm here. Kate, steady now. So close to the eagle. And now to Bubba Watson. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? Yes! Hold it! Oh, and up he goes, marching to the top of the leaderboard. And after that effort, this is how the leaderboard looks right now. Let's see what happens here at the 16th. That could play. Oh, well played. Into birdie range here at the 16th. And down it goes. Let's head to the next. Leading by a phenomenal 12 strokes after that one. Lovely momentum for this player after that birdie at the last hole. Keep it rolling. And Henny, what's he facing with this one? I'd say he's about 165 from this flag. Chosen the pitching wedge here. Well, that's comfortably on the dance floor. Well played. Well, take notes, folks. That's how you do it. Now, this putt 
to get to 18 under par. This one's looking good. Now let's change gears and head over to Bubba Watson. He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. Playing this shot from about 180 yards. Now this wind really starting to get up. That was well managed. Rich, we find ourselves in the finishing hole here at Jacobson Homestead, and, and it seems strange to be playing it just at 400 yards. I tell you what, though, I like this finishing hole because it gives you options. You don't have to necessarily hit driver here. If you do, you got to take it over some pretty tall trees, and you can't miss it to the left-hand side. The safe plate, lay it out to the right, but now your second shot becomes just a little bit longer, a little bit more difficult to get it that close to the hole. I love the options you have on this finishing hole. A great opportunity for one final birdie. Well, I like that strike. This one's hitting well towards the green. That's a lovely shot here at the 18th and a chance for birdie at the last. Rolling end over end. This putt's looking great. That signs off on this player's performance for the day.